guys, happy Thursday. I do need to give you guys a crazy disclaimer in this vlog. Today's Thursday, it's December 5th. It's my actual real time birthday. It is 4.15 um, and this vlog is gonna be weird. So today is Thursday. My boys went to their dad's this morning but the girls are coming home in the next 20 minutes. So it's kind of weird because we usually don't have a switch off like this. Usually they have a meal together before they go off in their respective ways for a few days and then they have like half a week together. It's, it's weird, but it works. Anyway, so special situation, special circumstance. My nuggets left me this morning. I've been home working all day. One of those days where you're like, I have my whole day planned out. This is what I'm gonna do, A through Z. I have it all figured. Why am I wearing Amazon sweaters in every single video that, that I do for you guys recently? <laughs> my entire wardrobe's like, Amazon. <laughs> Special day, I had it all planned out. The whole thing, the way it was gonna go, the way it was gonna happen, never worked out that way. Um, it's been kind of one of those days. Parker called it, hit a, hit a, hit a coconut. What's that game? Slap a rabbit. What's that called, Bubble? That game? You know? Whack-a-mole. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is one of those moments where I'm like, what's Frito Pie? <laughs> he has taught me so much. He taught me about banana pudding, Frito Pie, Whack-a-mole. Man, the things I learned with him and Sam, it's kind of awesome. Like, my American upbringing that I missed out on with my immigrant parents, I'm getting now in my 30s. <laughs> anyway, so I've definitely been like whack-a-mole all day, just running back and forth craziness. Um, totally, all my plans are shot with, with what I was gonna do. Um, right now I'm waiting for the girls to come home. I was gonna cook dinner, cause for me it's like a day like any other, even though it's my birthday. Um, but Parker's like, you can't cook on your birthday. What do you want? And I was like, <laughs> First of all, a vanilla shake. <laughs> Second of all, a meal would be nice. So, um, oh, hold on. So we uh, are waiting for what? <laughs> We're waiting for the girls and Parker to come home. We're gonna go eat dinner, but this is how the weekend's gonna play out. This is gonna be a little bit of a different vlog. Try again, puppy. Try again. You can do it. You can do it. Come on, baby. <laughs> okay, it's gonna be different. So today's Thursday. We're gonna go have birthday dinner with the girls. Tomorrow is Friday. It It's also my one month explant post-op, which I'm super excited about because um, they have before and after pictures. I did such a bad job at doing any of that, um, but they documented everything. They're also working with me on, you know, sharing the files with me and stuff like that. I told you guys in a previous video, I paid for my explant. Like, I, I'm not trying to plug the surgeon or anything like that, but obviously I'll talk about it because I am happy with the results and things like that. But anyway, so tomorrow's Friday, right smack in the middle of the day, I have my one month post-op. I have to get up super early tomorrow because I do have a deadline that I need to meet, so I will need to work tomorrow. But because it's my birthday, I will have all four kids this weekend. All right, all four dogs too, you guys, where are they? I just hear the little jingle bell, but I don't see him anywhere. Where's my jingle bell? Where's jingle bell? Hi, jingle bell. Come here. Popo. Bam, popo. Man, got me popo. Donde esta popo po? Donde esta mi popo popo? Donde esta popo popo po? Donde esta popo popo po? Hi, chubby. Oh, look, your brother's so nice to you. Oh, your brother's so nice to you. Where's Lamern? Mern. Where are you, Mern? Oh, you were here the whole time, but you were being so quiet. You were being so quiet. Oh, Wesley, stop, you big old bully. Oh, stop. Is he annoying? Why are you sitting on my shoe? Look at she's just full on sitting on my shoe. Do you like him? Do you want me to get you some? Yeah? Do you want me to get you some shoes? You would look so pretty in shoes. Oh, you scared to sit because I'm a perfect me beat All right, you guys, sorry about that really cute interlude. So... Tomorrow, Friday, work. Saturday, all four kids. Parker was like, what do you want to do for your birthday? And I, I kind of bounced back between ideas. My first idea was I want to see all the meerkats. 
If you want to see me geek out, freak out, scream, and just go crazy bonkers, crazy lady bananas, insane, show me meerkats. <laughs> because you're so little. <laughs> I mean, duh. So I was like, I want to go see all the meerkats. But in the last few, I would say few days, last four days, I felt really uncomfortable, very sick. Someone actually left me a really mean comment today. I was like not having it. She was like, I work for four plastic surgeons and I've never heard someone complain so much about pain. Like pain isn't, it's like, first of all, Susan or Karen or Betty or whatever. Um, I had fat grafting done and that's where the pain is. It's not my boobs. I mean, obviously my, it's uncomfortable because you know, you had a microsurgery where all this flesh was removed. So all of this is super tender, but the actual physical pain where it feels insanely sore. And I don't know if you guys have ever peeled poultry, like you remove the skin and you hear that, like that ripping of the skin. That's what my flanks feel like. When I lay down and I roll over from side to side, that tearing is what I feel. So I've been super uncomfortable and I was like, man, do I really want to go wrestle four kids at the zoo and walk and walk and walk and walk in potential cold weather, which you guys know I hate being cold. Um, so Parker's like, well, what, what else do you want to do for your birthday? I promise you guys I turned 35. I promise you guys I'm a, I'm a grown up. I promise you uh, this is all true, but I am a kid at heart. And when he was like, well, what's your backup plan? And I was like, you promise you won't laugh at me? I was like, I prepaid. We don't have to wait in line. I want to go see Santa. <laughs> I want the six of us to take a picture with Santa. Like how epic would that be? The year of our engagement, we drag our four kids, we embarrass them at the mall. Well, two of them will get embarrassed because they're at that like mall age. And then two of them will probably freak out because it's Santa. One will be a good freak out, the other one will be a terrified freak out. <laughs> so me and Parker will look really cute in the picture. I'll be like, yeah, because we're engaged. And then the kids are going to be like, but that's the fun memory. Like, Parker and I had this conversation this morning where it was like, do you remember what you got for your 12th, for your 12th birthday or your 12th Christmas? Or do you remember what you got on, you know, your 15th, your, when you were 15 for Christmas? Do you, do you remember what you did for your 12th birthday? And the answer for all of our questions was no. What do we remember? We remember laughing with our parents. We remember um, the smell of the meal that you had. We remember hanging out with our cousins on Christmas morning. And so it's those memories that maybe right now are ridiculous, but that hopefully in the future, maybe when they're getting married or going off to college, we could like sneak a tiny two by three picture in like their chemistry book. And it'll be like our Christmas, our, our, our very first official Christmas together. Cause we were together last year, but it was, we weren't in the same home. We still weren't living together. We weren't engaged. Um, and so I thought it would be so much fun. Plus there's a cheesecake factory at the mall which means I can get their confetti cheesecake, which is so good, you guys, so good. And I can actually eat it the way I like. Have we had this conversation before? Where like, I don't take a bite from a cake, like straight up and down. Like I don't do the frosting bread, perfect ratio slice of the cake. Like, what's going on? Holy mackerel, aloe vera. There's a big aloe vera truck just drove in front of the house. So what I like to do is I like to take the spoon and I like carve out sections of a layered cake or a layered cheesecake or anything layered. And then I just kind of eat around it and just, it's, it's fun and it's what I do. And it really, really makes my Virgo fiance twitch. <laughs> so, okay. That is Saturday. I don't know why I'm giving you guys a summary if I'm bringing you along. And then, um, so that'll be Saturday. And then Sunday, we're having brunch with Nusha and her family and all the boys. Um, so it'll be like, hey, happy birthday. <laughs> Molly. Really, it's a child. It's a child. Are you gonna get the child? What are you gonna do to him? What are you gonna do to the child? He must be a criminal. The backpack, the backpack gave it away, didn't it? Was it the backpack? This is, is it the backpack? Really? Was it the backpack? The backpack gave him away? Huh? Look at her. Look at her. Look at her. She's like foaming at the mouth. 
Or was it the school books? The sneakers. His little gym shorts. Does that make him look like super predator? All right. I think you'll be fine. Anyway, you guys, this entire long summary of the, why are you not focused on my face? Like, please, like, what? it's like focusing on the TV. Hold, please. Hold, please. There we go. All right. Hello. So this entire long summary, this long introduction of like 17 minutes is to tell you that this vlog's going to be a little different because it's my birthday weekend. Um, it's going to be a little obnoxious because this weekend is my official birthday weekend. And then the week after that is our kidless birthday weekend. So we're going to do like a fancy oyster dinner at Perry's and all that stuff. But that'll be in the upcoming weeks for now. You get to enjoy me geeking out with Santa. Do you think Santa would want to be in my vlog? I sure hope so. Anyway, as I wait for Parker and bonus baby junior and senior, let me show you my amazing outfit. Wesley, do you want to show them your outfit first? It's kind of big since you lost all that weight, cinnamon rolls. So look at how cute her sweater is. It has an actual Westie on it. Isn't that precious? Well, you look so handsome. I'm going to need you to move so that mommy can show her outfit of the day. Can you move? All right, ready? Boop, 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 boop. No? Can you move? Hey, come over here. Come over here. Come over here. All right. Thank you, sir. All right, so here's my majestic outfit of the day. I actually talked about this sweater um, in my Amazon favorites, but I was wearing the baby blue one. This is the beige with the beige camel beige whatever it's the brown one um that i told you sam got as well so really love it i just i love this sweater i love how it comes in at the waist too because it gives you kind of like a little i don't know a little feminine touch the sleeve if you're a long girl long girl tall girl <laughs> if you're a tall girl this is the sleeve on a medium so it's awesome if you like that long slouchy i'm not trying too hard to look cute look um these are just some skinny jeans from cut by the cloth from nordstrom and these i actually got the other day how cute are they i got them because parker has some shoes that look very similar to these um these are high tops though his are low um, and I was like, oh, okay, we're always that couple that likes to match. I know, ridiculous, right? But I had some rewards for DSW that were expiring. They sent me my birthday reward, um, and then I also had 30% off. So I asked my girlfriend, Sam and Noosh, this is why it's super important to have an amazing tribe, like a tribe you can just turn to for anything, whether you wanna ask questions about your period, complain about your significant other, or share coupons and discounts, this is why your tribe matters so much. So I was like, hey girls, I have like $25 in rewards. They're having an amazing sale right now. If y'all need shoes or anything, you know, here's my account. Well, neither of them needed anything, which is crazy because we were being really good that day. And so I waited, I waited, I waited. They extended the sale one more day. My reward still hadn't expired. So I was like, oh, it just seems like such a waste to let these rewards expire when all shoes are 30% off. So I got these sneakers. It's very easy to justify um, your purchases when you offered the discount to someone before. You know, you were generous. You were trying to do something nice. It, just, it was just gonna go to waste. So I had to do it. So that's my outfit of the day. We are probably gonna go eat cheeseburgers because <laughs> cheeseburgers. Um, and then I don't think we have anything going on this afternoon. And then tomorrow, we're gonna get up like at 4.30. I know, right? I'm gonna go show you guys Sophia so you can say hi to her too. And then we'll go eat. And I think that'll be it for today. Where's Sophie LaRue? Sophie, Sophie LaRue. Where's my Rue? Where's my Rue? Hi, Sophie girl. Oh, you're so pretty. Do you wanna tell your friends how little your bows lasted in your hair? Say my bows were in my hair for a total of uh, 11 minutes before I got out, got rid of them. Cause I'm more of a sporty chick. I'm not the bow kind of girl. Like this little sweater she's wearing right now with the little shirt on the inside and everything. It, it personally offends her. She's, she's not down for the pink. She's not down for the fuzz, the fluffy. She's not down for that life, but she loves her mama. So she lets me. Hi huh, mama. That's right. Look at those ears. Those are nice. I love you. Papa, go with your sister. Come on. Chima, vente. Subete. Good boy. Good boy. You guys better eat dinner, okay? So that when I come home, you can take your medicine. Deal? No? A little bit? The top of the estoy hablando. 
Si te estoy hablando, eres un burro. He only understands Spanish for some reason. I think he pretends, you guys. I'm convinced he pretends. <laughs> So we're at Scotty Peace, and I don't know if you know this about me, but I'm kind of obnoxious. So when we got here, I walked in, and I was like, do you guys have a birthday discount? And he was like, no. Oh, thank you, sir. It's water, you guys. Um, <laughs> he's petting me with love. Um, and he's like, no, actually, we don't. He has like dry humor, and I was like, oh, all right. He's like, wait, whose birthday is it? I was like, it's my birthday. I got free cake. And yes, that is a bite out of the cake because I don't have silverware. I'm feeling judged right now. You would have done the same thing. Think about it. Put yourself in my shoes. You would have, wouldn't you? I'll show you guys my burger when it gets here. I got a vanilla shake and a hash chili burger with pepper jack. Oh, look at that. I think that's my vanilla shake. We got a peppermint shake. Look at this. With a boba straw. Peppermint shake. Oh my goodness. It's not coming out. <laughs> I'm doing cardio, hold on. It's getting there, it's getting there. Almost there, bingo. Mm. Mm. It's better than, you know which place? Do you remember? Chips? <laughs> I just offended part of it. But it's better than chips. Is it good? Whole place. <laughs> Cross contamination is about to happen. The idea of a peppermint anything that's not a candy is very daunting. That was delicious. It tastes like dessert. Why are we eating it right now? Anyway, I'll show you my burger in a sec. Mmm, we get a little ad happening over here. A little ad action. Got it, please. Get a little pectoral action. Yeah. Oh, that was nice. Yes. That was nice. Oh, look at this. It's frat. <laughs> that was frat. Oh, Vanna White hand. That's right. Chocolate cake still there. Look at this. <laughs> well, well, well. Well, well, well. Are we having a good morning? Why are you in Mama's room? Why are you in Mama's room? Can I see your paw? Let me see your paw. Oh, that's a nice looking paw. Oh, look at all these freckles. Yeah, those are nice freckles. Look at how red my hand looks. What's up with that? I look like Sheldon Cooper. Oh my goodness. Why oh, are you so pretty this morning? Why oh, are you so pretty this morning? Look at that big face. Show me your face. Let me see your face. Burn. Burn. <laughs> Let me see your face. Let me see your face. Hi, pretty girl. Hi, pretty girl. That's my good girl. Yes, it is. My angel face. Oh, God bless you. Oh, God bless you. Oh, God bless you, my sweet angel. I love you so. I love you so. Yes, I do. Let's do a little intro. Let's do a little Friday intro. You ready for this? You ready? Oh, you are. All right. Holy mackerel, we super look red. Hey, you guys. Happy Friday. This is my air-dried hair. Looking fabulous. Um, It's been a great morning. Uh, Parker usually gets up at like 4.30 to go to the gym. I may or may not have convinced him not to go today. <laughs> I was like, but it's my birthday Friday. <laughs> He's so sweet. I really don't have to like insist or anything. I'm just like, but okay. <laughs> you know, he's, he's, he's a doll. Um, but it's funny because we have this like running joke, like this long standing joke where Dream Parker is the worst. Like he's awful. And so when I woke up this morning because of his alarm at 430, I was like, you were so mean to me in my dream. And he's like, man, oh, Dream Parker's the worst. <laughs> so it's like, mm, I don't want you to go because you were mean to me in my dream. <laughs> I'm telling you guys this because we're friends. And if we can't shame ourselves <laughs> with our friends, who can we with? You know what I'm saying? Like, I keep it real. I'm not going to be like, well, I'm the perfect fiance. I'm not needy and obnoxious. I am. And I'm extremely needy, and it takes a really, really very unique, special, patient, God-sent man 
<laughs> to be able to keep with keep up with all of this, especially with that <laughs> and that one in the pillow. Um, okay, so it's 7.30. Um, our follow-up, our one-month post-op appointment is at 11.30, but it's far, so we have to leave here pretty early. Um, the girls have gone to school. Uh, Parker's gone to work. I won't see everyone until probably 4.30 or 5. So I have about three hours to film a video or two, then head to my appointment, then maybe get a pedicure. I really hope Lee's working today. Okay, you guys, so do you want to hear some drama at the nail salon? So when I started to go to the, this nail salon, I would go to this lady named Helen, and she was super sweet. She never disrespected. I'm sure she talked about me in Vietnamese a lot, <laughs> but she was great, and she did a good job. And I liked her because she was very meticulous with how she painted my nails, and since I get gel, um, they have to do a really exact job because it hardens and when it grows out, it can lift or hurt or be uncomfortable, get snagged on your socks. So she didn't do the massage good or any of that stuff. She was always in a hurry, but the way she painted my nails was awesome. I don't get manicures. I don't like pedicures. I don't enjoy pedicures. However, I go every month and a half and they last and they make my feet look great. So I like endure it. I just hate people touching my feet. Anyway, so she went to Vietnam for a month and a half and I walked in one day. It was one of those days where I didn't make an appointment. I just walked in and um, a woman named Lee did my toes. Oh my gosh. Like, I was like, Lee, I love you. <laughs> She's meticulous as how she paints her nails. She gives you a massage for like 15 minutes. She's very... Um, I don't know if this is even the right word to say, but she's like very quiet and keeps to herself. So like I try to get work done when I'm sitting at the salon, but if they, if they want to talk to me, I'll, I'll, you guys, I talk to a wall. I'll, there was a wasp inside my house the other day that I was like, you can't be in here. I'm sorry. I know it's winter and bugs hate winter, but you need to, you need to leave. And so I was talking to a wasp, you know, I, I entertain all conversations. She's quiet. She does her job. She does a good job. She's so polite. She went to Vietnam and she brought me back a keychain. You know what I mean? Like she is adorable, super sweet, but on top of all of that, she earns her living. She loves her job and I love that. Work ethic to me is one of the most respected things ever, right? So I switched over to Lee. Well, Helen comes back from Vietnam and she's not okay with it. So now every time I have to go get a pedicure, I have to schedule it on a Tuesday when Helen is off because if I desperately need a pedicure and I schedule it on a day that's not Tuesday, she comes and reminds me that she used to do my pedicure. And it's very awkward and I have to do that smile like, eh, you went to Vietnam for two months, <laughs> but we cool, right? And then she says something in Vietnamese to Lee every time. I would imagine something like, bitch stole my hoe, you know, or something like that. Um, very inappropriate and probably gangsta because that's, that's how manicurists roll. Um, anyway, that's the tea for the day. Um, I need to do something with this. Uh, oh, I was telling you about my day. So yeah, hopefully when I leave the doctor's appointment, I'm going to call and be like, is Lee available now? And then I'll stop in and I can edit while they do my toes, you know, multitasking. So yesterday we went to Scotty P's. We had cheeseburgers. I had the hatch chili cheeseburger. So good. Anytime there's poblano or hatch chilies in a burger, sign me up. But what I was not expecting is getting my very first cards, my very first stepmom cards. It took every ounce out of me not to bawl like a crazy neurotic woman inside a cheeseburger joint, you guys. Look at, I'm already starting to get glassy eyed. Um, I'm not that person that wants the big lavish gifts. I'm not the person that wants a big party. I'm not the person, I'm just the person that wants the people that my bubble is so small, like my circle is so small that I just want those select few people to remember. 
that's it. I don't want, and so things like a card or a balloon or I don't know, grocery store flowers, whatever, stuff like that, just they thought about you for me is a big deal. But one of my favorite things ever are notes or letters or like a little text or something written. Um, what's that thing they say? Um, say it, forget it, write it, regret it. It has a very negative connotation. Really? It's the neighbor. They, what, they can't park in front of their own house? They, they can't? And not allowed to? Look how majestic she is. Isn't she gorgeous? She's so beautiful. Anyway, so say it, forget it, write it, regret it. It has a negative connotation, but if you put it under like positive light, it basically means if you say something, people are going to forget it. But if you write it down, they won't because it's written. It's proof. It's, it's a fact. You know, it's a, it's, it's a noun. <laughs> so it's tangible. Um, really, Mern? You're ruining my lesson for the day. Oh, my God. Why are you being so selfish? Huh? Anyway, all of that to say is my very first cards for my two bonus babies as their future stepmom. Holy mackerel. <laughs> I kind of want to show you, but then I also kind of want to keep it special. So it was just... It's so sweet. Anyway, so that's today. Friday, post-op, filming, editing, work, nothing exciting. My boys come back tomorrow, and at 11.30, we're gonna go see Santa. That's what I want for my birthday. We're gonna go see Santa, we're gonna take a family picture, we're gonna go to Cheesecake Factory. I'm looking forward to it. And then Sunday, we're having brunch with just the boys. All of Nusha's boys, all of my boys. That made it sound like we have 17. Um, so that'll be fun. And it's fun because Noosh is one of my best friends and her husband is one of Parker's best friends. So it's just one of those relationships that are born and that just end up working out where everyone likes each other. So it's kind of cool. Anyway, um, that's a scoop. I'm running out of time. I need to drink my coffee. I need to do something about this. You guys, how long is my hair? Can we talk about that for a second? My hair, my nails, my toenails, Everything is growing back so fast, but you know what I found out the other day? I was like, man, I started to feel real good after, like immediately after my surgery, I felt great. And then maybe a few days ago, I started to feel kind of yucky. And I was like, is that, is that normal? So of course, you know, you go down the like Googling and, and forum and, and breast implant illness groups and stuff like that. Well, come to find out that around week six to 11, um, your body goes through this insane, um, heavy metal toxin detox. And so you could just start feeling even worse than when you had your implant still in. And it's just your body kind of kicking out the big, big deposits of, of heavy metals that may have gotten into your system, aside from the capsule that was removed. Um, I don't know. If it is, if it's not, I'll, I know I feel kind of yucky, but I'm like, I still feel better than I felt before, so totally okay with it. Anyway, I gotta, I gotta go. You like my sweater? Okay, I really have to go. <laughs> you guys, a little bit after 9.30, I just got done filming this look, which I'm kind of a little proud of because I see all of these tutorials right now. Holiday makeup, holiday makeup, this is my holiday makeup, this is my holiday makeup. And they're like super glam and like a ton of products and heavy concealer and color correction and glitter and metallic liner. And I'm like, Lord, I wish I had the time. When I have to go to like, for example, Thanksgiving, we had to get four dogs ready, four kids ready. It was kind of a rush, uh, actually two kids because the girls were away with their mom, but Usually with the holidays, it's like you get everyone ready and the last person to have time to get ready is this one. So during the holidays, this is what my makeup looks like. It's very light foundation, spot concealing, a ton of highlighter and a really bright lip, no eyeshadow. Today, I actually did just a little bit on the brow bone and a neutral shade here, but I'm very explicit in the video. I'm like, hey, normally, for example, Thanksgiving, I didn't do any eyeshadow. It was just straight mascara. Um, my brows, there's no pencil, there's no gel. It's kind of one of those hybrid products where it's all in one. 
tinted brow gel where it does the strokes and everything. It's, it's awesome. Anyway, I need to get back to filming. I need to do a little outfit change. So I kind of mix it up a little bit. Um, and then we have to rush over to my post-op appointment, um, which is 30 minutes away. So these two, let me tell you, these two were adorable in the video. So I'll link it down below if it's already live. If it's not, I will eventually. <laughs> Are you gonna forgive me yet for changing your clothes? Come on, Wesley. Come on, fatty. Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. There he goes. Go, Bo, come on, let's go potty. Let's go potty, mommy has to leave soon. Come on, let's go potty. Oh, God bless you. Oh, God bless you. You wanna go potty? Yeah. Hey, you guys, 11 o'clock. Not making eye contact because I don't want to die. Uh, I just did it again. Oh my god. Um, okay. Today is panning out to be one of those days where everything falls into place the way it's supposed to. It's crazy. So, super excited. I'm totally on track. I'm on time. Everything's good. The morning was great. I'm happy with my two videos. Um, loving this red lipstick. I don't know. I think... Do you guys remember in my um, current obsessions or latest favorites, my birthday giveaway video, um, where I told you it's so funny how um, a garment, like a piece of clothing or an accessory, can just totally switch your mood around, like change it up. And so I think that goes for this, that's the same thing that goes for like a bright lipstick or wearing heels. Anything that you do that is a little bit out of your ordinary, but that makes you feel pretty. So whether it's a hot pink lipstick or a red lip or wearing um, pumps or uh, I don't know, a new sexy bra or something like that. It just, I don't know, it changes your mood. And that's kind of how I'm feeling today with my red lip and headband. Um, the headband's totally giving me like nostalgia from when I was little because my mom would make me headbands and she'd make bows, like hair bows, and she'd actually paint the bows. Like she would paint Belle or Ariel on the bows and sew the ribbons together. And she was really talented. She and my aunt would do it together. Um, but the headbands, man, the puffy headbands, were they were like wide headbands with padding and then they'd either paint them or stitch stuff onto them like charms or pearls. Hated those things. And now they're super trendy and I kind of love them. <laughs> it's one of those cases where I'm like, mom, you were right. <laughs> Again. Plus I feel a little bit like Snow White right now. Good. Kind of looking like Snow White. Let's keep it real. It has a lot to do with the fact that I'm not tan. <laughs> so we're on our way to um, the Dallas Plastic Surgery Institute, which is where my surgeon is. Um, and my appointment's at 11.30, so we're gonna make it right on time. Parker actually had court um, at 10, and he was like, I'm not gonna be able to make it to your appointment, and he was so disappointed. And here's the thing, he's made it to every single one of my plastic surgery related um, appointments. Uh, the consultations, um, the pre-op, the post-op, like all the appointments, the surgery. He stayed in the building, in the waiting room, the entire time my surgery was happening. I think it was three hours. Um, most people leave and come back to pick up <laughs> their person. Um, he was so sweet. So he was so disappointed when they he had to go to grand jury and he was like, wait, I finished early, I'll meet you there. <laughs> we love the staff at um, this doctor's office. So my surgeon's name is Bradley Hubbard. He is very, very good at his job. Um, I'll put his Instagram down below. I almost didn't pick him. And the reason I almost didn't pick him ended up being the reason why I chose him. Weird, right? So when I met him, he came off as very smug. Um, like confident but in an obnoxious way it was weird because I asked him I said hey you know what my field of work is like uh, social media marketing and so if I were to talk about this on social media I need your permission um, or you're okay to be talked about whether I like the results or I hate the results I want your green light to be able to talk about it he's like I know you're gonna like it so you're you're fine do your job. And I was like, 
I looked at Parker like, this guy. And so I was like, I don't know, he kind of rubbed me the wrong way. Like, how is he so sure that I'm gonna like it? Like, I've had implants for 13 years. And Parker was like, how would you feel if like someone came to you that doesn't do social media promotion, right? That doesn't do social media marketing or isn't doing YouTube or Instagram or whatever and questions your confidence in being able to produce work you're proud of. And I didn't question the surgeon. I'm very respectful uh, when it comes to certain career fields um, because their careers or jobs that you need, you need of them, so you respect them, right? And so with doctors and stuff, I never question their judgment, I never, but I do have questions. And so in private, after we left, I told Parker, I was like, man, I don't know, he kind of rubbed me the wrong way, he's like kind of smug and cocky. And then just talking to Parker, which is like the unemotional, the rational, the logical thinker, um, he was like, let his work speak for himself. I mean, if he's confident about his job and you feel confident in the results he's gonna be able to give you, it sounds like you have a winner in this doctor. And there was this other doctor that's like super, super old and he's been doing it for like 40 years. In fact, he's so good, he teaches all these other surgeons how to be surgeons. And Parker's like, well, do you want someone that has like an infinite amount of experience um, and is now teaching, so he's out of the loop on surgeries? Or do you want someone that's in like the trenches right now, that's knee deep in surgeries and is still engulfed by the actual surgical process? And I was like, damn, why are you so smart? So anyway, I ended up choosing Dr. Hubbard because of his confidence, because he was so, he made me feel confident in my choices. So I was like, okay, let's book it up. So I uh, booked six months in advance. That's how booked out he was actually. <laughs> anyway, we're on our way to the appointment. Hopefully we get some good news as to why my back hurts. Um, I hope it's because uh, of like a normal reason, like hey, it's just part of the process. Um, I hope it's not anything that shouldn't be happening. But I mean, to the naked eye, you don't really see anything going on, you know, like maybe some bruising or anything. No, just everything seems fine. So I, I have to say I'm mildly relieved that Parker's going with me because he's been to every appointment and there are times where I forget certain questions or he comes up with questions that I didn't initially have and I'm like, whoa, that was a great question. So um, it'll definitely be cool to, um, to get them answered questions that I don't even know I had. Anyway, so that's the status of our life. I have to go to the appointment and then I'll probably jet home, like I mean rush home, because I have to edit one of my videos and submit it today. Um, and hopefully I can post um, on Monday, but we'll see. For now, we're driving. We're getting to the scary part of the highway where it gets really curvy and I like almost slam on my brakes. This part, of the highway, I think it's a toll, the toll road or whatever in Dallas. The entire time, you guys, the entire time, I'm clenching my butt cheeks. show you guys this in a video. It's probably live on my channel already. Yep, those are some initials. Anyway, I'm kind of nervous. It's like that nervous, I'm seeing the doctor feeling. This is the fancy waiting room. Is this where you waited when the surgery was happening? No, it's like a much smaller oh, really? waiting room with a broken coffee maker. Like to make you nervous? I'm sad, yeah. You were sad? <laughs> oh. This waiting room's nice. This waiting room, look. 
mountains or skylines. We're like at the very top of the building. I said I could come over here if I wanted to, but it felt too far away, so. Oh, because we're on it, the on opposite the side. side yeah. Oh, that's right. I was afraid they wouldn't be able to find anything. That yeah. opposite side was scary. Where they put all the tubes and stuff in you. Mm -hmm. That is scary. My anesthesiologist was so pretty, you guys. She looked like an Asian supermodel, but she was pregnant, so she had a little bump. She was so sweet. Man, I've conveniently forgotten so many things about my surgery. It's bringing it all back. You're the, one, <laughs> you're the one that remembers. Yeah. He's like, mm, nope. Some things I'm just not gonna remind you of. <laughs> Never happened. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. All right, I'll let you guys know what happens. You guys, it is 12.40 and I'm leaving. This visit took a lot longer than I had anticipated. Um, I think it's because we had to do pictures. We had to do updated pictures um, to see kind of like the progress and stuff like that. After this visit, they need to see me again in three to four months and that's basically how my final, final, final look is and if I'm not happy, then we discuss options and things like that. But. There's something so, um, what's the word? Um, I should probably figure out where I'm going and I don't think I'm going the right way. Hold on guys. All right, you guys, you have to practice super safe driving. None of this distracted driving. I've had one accident in my life. Um, it was very scary and I was completely distracted. So it's a real deal, y'all. You don't realize how distracted you are. I think Oprah had um, some I don't know, like conducted a study or something on when you look down and look at your phone, like to open a text or something, is the equivalent of like three football fields that you're driving without looking. Like it was, it was shocking. Um, anyway, so he was saying um, in three to four months is it exactly what I'm gonna look like. There's gonna be no change um, aside from like scar treatment and things like that. There's gonna be no change. That's like it. That's what's staying. Now, I think for me, uh, what was the most? These visits are important to me because I'm able to talk about exactly what I'm feeling, and they have an answer for everything. Um, he has a surgical assistant. Her name is Kaylee. I mean, this girl. She's kind of one of those people where you meet them, and you're like, "Do you want to be friends in real life?" <laughs> friend it's one of those things like do you remember that vlog where I told you I met a lady at a children's consignment store and I regret not asking for her phone number because she was so cool that's kind of how Kaylee is I'm like Kaylee can we be friends I mean like in real life <laughs> so um she just she makes me feel so good like talking to her she's so confident in her responses and she has an answer for everything and she makes you feel normal about your insecurities right so i was like okay well my boob feels a little lumpy or how long till i can wear regular undergarments or get measured or um you know my sides really hurt a lot like they're super 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 painful in my lower back and um you know, Dr. Hubbard and Kaylee are like, okay, that's normal, that's the nerve nerve disruption. And your wires are crossed right now because of all the like, basically um, stress that your body was under from trying to do the fat grafting. Now, the one good thing is that the fat that my body held on to, because I don't know if you know this, when you get fat transfer, not all of the fat lives. So if you transfer fat, some of it dies and all of it could die, none of it could die or you know, whatever. So I was really nervous that the fat wouldn't stick. But I'm happy with my little boobs because the fat transfer basically stuck. What he was able to transfer stuck. He's like transferring, he, he told me this during my pre-op visit. I can lipo you, ev lipo you everywhere. I can lipo your thighs, your butt, your your flanks. I could lipo it all, and I could put like 400 cc's of fat. He's like, it's not all gonna live because they all have to reconnect um, and survive. They have to, you know, I don't know what he called them. Like the the cells have to like live again, like create oxygen or what. He explained it to me in the medical way, and I was like, got it. They need to survive. Um, yeah, so he's like, if I transfer a ton of it, they're gonna suffocate each other and they're not all gonna survive. So I could do a realistic amount 
and see what sticks. Um, but the funny thing is that I was like, I want it, I want what you put to live. And the funny part was that the only thing he was able to lipo was the only thing that would have fit in the breast pocket that was there. <laughs> so it kind of worked out, but now I'm in a crazy amount of pain. Oh, he also told me that the way he lipoed um, my flanks, so think like your love handles or like your muffin top, that's that's the only place he lipoed. Um, it was the only, <laughs> he's like, it's the only place I can get enough fat. I was like, mm. I don't know if that's a compliment or an insult. Um, so he said that he scraped like my lower back like really good for the lipo to, to give the illusion that my butt was bigger. And I started laughing. I was like, see Parker, I told you. I remember you guys, I was 24 hours post-op with my nasty drains and I was all swollen and puffy from the anesthesia. And I told Parker, I was like, Parker, I think my butt's bigger. <laughs> I think you put some fat in my butt, it looks bigger. And uh, this whole time it was an illusion. So he's like, look, you are going to be swollen for the next three to four months. And there are episodes of swelling that are based on what you eat, your range of motion, your physical activities for that day. He's like, and the best way I can describe it is episodes because there's no way to graph it out. There's no way to say, on this day you're gonna be more swollen, by this day it'll go down. It's totally unpredictable and it varies. But after the fourth month, it's done. It should be figured out. The pain though on the ribs, that can last up to a year. So I'm like, oh great. How do celebrities get these like weekend lipo treatments <laughs> and then they go back on tour? I don't understand. Like how do they get these massive cosmetic treatments and go on vacation and then come back looking fly as heck? I'll never understand. He told me it's fake. He's like, oh, there's a lot of fraud doctors in LA that tell you they actually did stuff and they don't really do much. Um, I was like, wow, it's nice to have the in. Anyway, the point of the story is I'm driving home. It's 12.45. I'm obsessed with my doctor. Man, it's crazy how it started off as a, I don't think I like you very much, to a, you're really nice. I like you, I appreciate you, you did a good job, and I love your work. And Kaylee, she's my favorite. Um, to going home, is that what I was telling you? I love my doctor, we're driving home. Yeah, so here's the scoop. We're driving home, Um, I need to figure out something to eat. I'll probably just eat at the house. Oh, we have leftovers. I made caldo de pollo the other day. Caldo de pollo is like Mexican chicken soup without noodles. We don't do the noodle business. Um, I have that, so I'll reheat that and I'll edit and submit my video. Hopefully I can make it in time. Um, but then, one of Parker's daughters is doing, y'all, she's 15, so she's at that, you know, phase or age in life where she just wants to hang out with her friends. So last night she was so sweet. She's like, Dad, can I go to the Christmas lighting tomorrow? And his oldest daughter is very like, not sweet. She's very blunt, um, very controlled with her feelings. Um, very even spoken like she's like kind of like Parker you know she's not like the little ones very like lovey-dovey and sweet and cute and woo she's like Olaf we always call her Olaf because she's adorable but the oldest one she's just so mature and very intelligent but just serious you know she's a different kind she's a great personality but you almost have to earn it you know you have to earn it to be able to see this amazing personality that she has she's a little guarded I would say um, and so when the dad voice comes out it's like mm, what you want girl so she wants to do a Christmas lighting with her friends tonight um, so will the three of us bonus baby junior Parker and I will have dinner together I kind of am thinking about sushi Nusha Sam and I have a group text that we've been talking about sushi all day so I'm like mm, maybe we can eat sushi so I kind of want to eat sushi for dinner um, and then we'll go pick up bonus baby senior and maybe get ice cream after but it's gonna be late so we'll see anyway driving home I need to focus I need to respect Oprah um, and I'll see you later bye hey, hey you guys a little bit before 4 30 I barely finished editing my video. It's currently uploading and of course, 
The internet is being a butthead. If you guys live in this household, you know how much we struggle with our internet connection. It's just totally unreliable, like completely unreliable. Like that friend that you really, really like, and if you didn't like them so much, you would stop being their friend because they're so flaky, but you just can't help but really like them. That's the internet at my house, the unreliable friend. Anyway, I'm currently uploading and Parker and Bonus Baby Jr. should be here any minute. I really hope they don't want to jet out the door and go to dinner because I can't leave until this is figured out. I should have submitted a few hours ago and I just got done. I'm not that person, but recently maybe I have become a little bit of that person. Um, however, I'm meeting my deadline. I just, it's kind of one of those things where like you promise a time, you just have like a window. How can I explain this? I use way too many more words than I need to. When you have to turn in content, it's due on a date, not a time. But I'm always like, sure, I'll have it to you by four. And then I'm like, seriously, Danny, why do you open your big mouth? Even when I don't need to, I do it. And I give up like extra words, offer more information than I need to. Anyway, um, we're probably gonna go eat sushi, which is yay. Um, and then tomorrow we're gonna see Santa. But I think that's all for like the exciting stuff today. Oh, so I ordered a bathroom organizer that wasn't supposed to arrive until Monday. It arrived today for some reason, so I'm gonna try and cute my way into Parker's schedule and be like, do you think you can make it? Oh, hello. Hello, what's the matter? What do you want? You want some extra loving? You want some extra hellos? Oye, ¿cómo te has portado el día de hoy? ¿Eh? ¿Cómo te has portado el día de hoy con esa cara toda rosita? Ahora un angelito todo rosita. Sí, todo rosita. La boca rosita, las orejas rositas. A ver, tu espaldita. Todo rosita. ¿Por qué estás todo rosita? ¿Eh? Ay, qué cosa tan guapo. Ahora es una cosa muy guapo de niño. Es un guapo de niño. Oh, here she comes. Can't share the love. Show everyone your red nose. I may or may not have kissed Myrn on the mouth. Look at that. So she got red lipstick all over her snout. Hopefully it doesn't alarm anyone later. Like, oh my God, Myrn is bleeding. <laughs> it's just lipstick. It's still a beso. It is still a beso, huh, baby? Hello, can I help you? Do you want to go eat sushi with us? You can't have sushi. You cannot have sushi. No, you cannot. No, you cannot. Although, Mr. Pitt and I tease Myrn that she eats rabbit sushi. Let me tell you guys a story. So this one here, thinks she's a stone cold killer. She thinks she's a murderer and we have a ton of wild rabbits in our neighborhood, like a ton, a bunch. Like anywhere you go, you'll see at night, um, at dusk, at dawn, you'll see at least 10 rabbits. There's rabbits everywhere. Well, this one right here likes to grab them and once she actually ate one Yes, a whole rabbit. Man, I almost took her to the hospital because I thought she was going to die. She was fine, but man. The doctor's like, well, just check that there's no like parasite or worm looking things in her poop. I was like, oh, really? That's all you got for me, doc. I'm telling y'all, it's always something with these dogs. They're like, they're just like having more kids. And I love it. Why are you so itchy? Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, fingers crossed. Actually, you know what? Let me refresh and see if our video has uploaded. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Come on, internet, come on, internet. Don't let me down. Oh, it's still not uploaded. All right, you guys, I'm about to get cranky pants and I don't like to be around people when I put on my cranky pants. So the next time you see me, I'll be happy again, probably because I'll be stuffing my face with rice. Hey, hey you guys, still got my grumpy pants on. I don't know what's going on with the internet in my home, but it's not working. I've tried a million different things and I'm failing at my job today. I don't like when I fail at my job, it makes me upset. Anyway, we're having dinner as I can rudely vlog, <laughs> but I think we accidentally got someone's order or extra order, extra or additional order. It's cause they like me. He went there and he was like, I got a bento box. Parker got a bunch of rolls and look at that.
Oh, I almost got that big bite. This is someone else's order. We got two boxes of fried rice. And then Parker's telling me I need to open this, even though my birthday was yesterday. What do you guys think? Well, you weren't supposed to get your presents until Saturday, because when we agreed, that's when we we're going to celebrate your birthday was on Saturday. I don't remember making was... this agreement. Yes, it was. This happened. It was agreed upon that we would celebrate Saturday when the boys were here. Uh huh. So, yeah. but since you're a grumper stumpers, I thought I'd give you one of your presents early. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> one. One implies there's more than one. Did you think that through? He said too much. When you assume it makes one out of yourself. <laughs> well, then your grammar was incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wait, can I open it? Is it PG? Yeah. Because I said my content is not for children. This is kids safe. What is this? This is weird. <laughs> I didn't do it, Mom, I swear. <laughs> oh! I did do it and I don't care. <laughs> oh God. That's that's his face. Oh my god! What is this? How did you do that? How did you do that? Look at her face. She's like, mm-hmm. I just farted in your soup. Yep. <laughs> oh my god. I love socks. What kind of fabric is this? These feel like they'd be nice for boots. They're like slick. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Did you get to pick the colors too? Mm hmm The colors and the patterns and all that. Sophia wants to see, that's why she's crying. This one's my, this is the funniest one. <laughs> Look. Are you proud of your gift? I am pretty proud of it. <laughs> How cute are those socks? I should at least like oh. volumize my hair a little bit. Great. <laughs> How cute is that? I'll have to put them on and show you guys. They're so fun. I've never seen printed socks before. I didn't know you could do Why that. are they like one per one dog per sock? Was that a, was it a purpose, <clears> or did they not fit on one? You couldn't get off. You can you can only do one photo per sock. Oh, okay. So I had to do four pairs of socks to get all the dogs. So they didn't make you feel like you had too many dogs, at least. Right. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's good. Because then if they would have been like only three faces, then be like, mm, so you can miss. You're judgy. Judgy. Karen. You can mismatch your socks and that way you'll be able to wear two dogs at one time. No. no. We don't mismatch socks. We are not those I kinds thought, of people. I really thought that every dog deserved their own socks. We are not those kinds of people. Yeah. Do you guys mismatch your socks? I can't do that. Oh, it can be Mern Monday. Mern Monday. Okay. Yeah. Sophia, Saturday. Saturday. The Topo, Tuesday. Tuesday. And Wesley, Wesley Wednesday. Wednesday. <laughs> oh my God. That's too cute. Okay. I'm hungry. Bye. Hello, you guys after 7 30 7 almost 7 45 this is my shiny face as much as i like to do a really lightweight bb cream for my base it doesn't last all day and i don't mind looking like this i don't mind like that natural oil sheen <laughs> it's the end of the day anyway and i don't know i feel like it's almost like a healthy glow Maybe not ideal like at 4 o'clock when you're still in the office. <laughs> anyway, it's 7.45. I am exhausted. My video uploaded about two minutes ago. So I can finally lay myself to peace, to rest, whatever. I can finally go to bed. I know it's 7.45. I don't like literally mean go to bed, but like wash my face, put on my pajamas. Who am I kidding? I'm probably going to go to sleep in this. Um, and then tomorrow we get to go meet Santa, you guys. All six of us. Actually, you know what? Um, I'm sorry. Excuse me. That was rude. Parker's brother, sister-in-law, and godson asked if they could join us. So they're coming along. So we're going to be the biggest group at the North Pole followed by the biggest group at the Cheesecake Factory. So if you're watching this in the future and I saw you at the Cheesecake Factory, it was nice meeting you. <laughs> I love the Cheesecake Factory, you guys. The Cheesecake Factory is the only restaurant that has broken my heart three times and I keep going back. So I don't know if you guys are like me where you have your signature dish at every specific restaurant. So like, Every place you go to, you always order the same thing because naturally, why would you venture out when you find something you like, right? So I found my signature cheesecake dish 
three separate times and three separate times they take it off the menu. Um, but naturally because the Cheesecake Factory menu has like 47 pages, I'm able to replace my signature favorite dish, but I don't think I could take one more heartbreak. <laughs> I really don't. I mean, they took the skirt steak off of there. They took the chicken dipana off of the menu. So my heart's fragile at this point. You know, I have trust issues with like caress and, you know, going cruelty free and not being able to use like Mac now and things like that. So it's, uh, we don't need to talk about the base coat. Uh, panty liners. I'm, I'm just triggering myself right now. <laughs> I'm gonna go wash my face. I'm gonna go to bed. Um, and, uh, see you tomorrow. Hopefully. I hope this vlog doesn't drop off, but I feel like tomorrow is going to be so much fun, so much family, so much excitement. I don't think I'll be able to vlog because Parker was like, um, I don't know if this is a good time to tell you, but I got us a birthday cake for tomorrow. Um, do you want to share with my brother? And I was like, yes. <laughs> um, cake is only as good as the amount of people you have to share it with. Cake is one of those things where it's good if you're sad, it's good if you're happy, it's good if you're lonely, it's good if you got broken up with, it's good if you're happy, it's good if you're celebrating, but it's always the best when there's a lot of people enjoying it, I think, right? Like it just tastes better for some reason, but then does that mean I can't have cheesecake at the Cheesecake Factory? Cause that's why I wanted, wanted to go to the Cheesecake Factory. I'll have to talk to Parker tonight and I'll have to get back to you. Anyway, that's it. Good night. I love you. Do you want to say good night to your friends? Do you want to say good night to your friends? Wow, you're on my pillow in your beautiful candy cane dress. Can I see your dress? Wow, that's nice. You have snowflakes and ruffles. Such a pretty dress. My bed was nice until you just totally destroyed it. Oh, there's her dress. Good girl. Oh, you look so pretty. Oh, you look so pretty. I love you so much. I do. I love you terribly. I love you so, so terribly, my sweet, sweet girl.